Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Red Hood, The Hill number one. Uh, last week, we got issue number zero for this uh, that really put together some of the previously printed stories that lead up to everything that's going on here. Uh, this book is written by Sean Martinborough with art by Sanford Green. Um, in this book, can Jason Todd and his new allies keep his home safe? Welcome to the Hill, formerly one of Gotham's most dangerous suburbs, a place that required its residents to band together to keep themselves safe when the police and sometimes even Batman would not. Now that the Hill finds itself gentrifying, old habits die hard as the vigilante known as Strike works with her team to keep the town safe, but she's not alone. Jason Todd, one of the Hill's newest residents, is more than happy to don the visage of the Red Hood to help Strike keep his home safe uh, as a new villain emerges from the shadows. Will the Red Hood, Strike, and the Hills, a small militia of vigilantes be able to keep their home safe? Check out the return to Red Hood on this. Uh, so yeah, Red Hood's got a brand new squad, which is pretty, pretty interesting. Um, specifically after everything that Jason's been through, um, it's it's interesting to align how this kind of plays along with the larger universe. But even then, just this book itself, this is your street level type of book that I love to see over at DC. Things can get very cool when it's uh, when everything doesn't have those big universe ending stakes. Right. Uh, this is just about the people. It's about the, the neighborhood. Uh, and I think Jason Todd is a really interesting character to put in that position. Uh, especially after everything that's been going on. So uh, I will say Sanford Green does a fantastic work uh, with the art. All the characters that, that we're shown throughout the preview feel very much like their own people. Their own, like They really feel like people from a neighborhood. Uh, and it's just really fun, the approach to make sure that characters feel real, feel lived in, like the comic book itself uh, feels street level, feels... Not so much gritty, but like just very real. Like there's a lot of realness to what's going on here. Uh, so then you can really fold in the superhero shenanigans that happen. Uh, but even then, there's no like superpowers. The villains don't feel like caricatures. Like everything feels very serious and being kind of being taken at face value, which I appreciate in a comic. Uh, let's take a look at some of the preview art here, as I mentioned. Uh, one thing I love really is uh, the coloring. Like having all these characters not only look very unique, but very much real, like the tone, skin tones are pretty hard to nail down uh, in a, in a comic book specifically with, without the right amount of time. Uh, but I think the team really nails it here. Like the use of shadows, the way that their clothes feel like, like real people. Uh, I love that because it makes it a little bit more uh, of a, of a story that you could really dive into. Um, the dialogue feels also very genuine, uh, but also I love how things kind of begin to escalate. All the villains, of course, uh, everyone in Gotham that's up to no good uh, is going to have a very interesting look to them, to say the least. So, um, yeah, this is a fun, uh, fun story. Uh, I think this is something that I will wait for the trade. I'm not really sure. I want to check out issue number two before I make that decision, because there's definitely a lot of new stuff in here. Uh, so it's a good book to get into because everyone's going to be learning at the same time. Uh, but I don't know that this is the best book for somebody that's uh, like a first time comic book reader. Uh, there's like I said, there's a lot happening, a lot's being established. And although it's well done, uh, I think it does have a little bit more of a high bar uh, when it comes to this being somebody's first comic book. Uh, other than that, I really enjoyed the book. So if you have read it, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. As always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.